Yeah, I feel like someone is pulling from your energy and like now I'm a stay loving life by the way and they don't want y'all to know like I keep doing like I keep trying to like tap in and I'm tapping in but I'm feeling somebody pulling on you with like delusion it's like this is someone pulling on you from like a delusional like state of mind all right like this is i'm telling you somebody is spiraling out all right they car is out of control here it's like somebody is like wishing you'll do something bad to them so so something can backfire because they they know you innocent and now they wishing like you would do something bad like these readings are getting more and more bizarre Somebody got a demon on them, and they could be following them. All right, a demon could really be, like, preying on their energy. All right. I'm here prying as well. Okay, moving forward. Yeah, you guys are miraculously moving forward. Somebody can't believe that you guys are moving forward. All right, somebody was definitely unprepared um, when it came to, fight, like, spiritually fighting against you. All right, like, this is someone, they could be, like, a robot, very 3D all right i'm getting like they may have like i'm getting like a monster like they have like this monstrous spirit all right like they definitely look like a monster reacting like one like somebody's like all they care about is like money <sighs> somebody was unprepared to move forward from you like they like they didn't expect like to move on from you all right, so quickly. I, well, the thing is, I, what, I, what I'm trying to say is, like, they, I guess they expect for y'all to break up so soon or you walk away as fast as you did. All right, like, you moved on pretty quickly and they didn't expect that they was not prepared for that and they're not prepared to move on quickly either. They're not prepared to move on quickly. They want to they wanna stay attached onto you guys and, look, I've, this what you, like, this is what they're planning. Like, they're like, I'm not going to project, project this or put this out there right away, but eventually we're going to, like, do what we do. And they have all these ways to, like, turn you to like out into, like, this sick person. Like, this is someone that wants you to, like, wonder, like, open up your mind to, like, new things in the bedroom. But, like, things that they projected onto you that you would like, but stuff that you're not open to. Like, this is someone, they, they definitely look at adult videos, all right? And I feel like, you know, it's driving their mind crazy, all right? It's like, I feel like this person be be shape-shifting in and out of like different energies here okay different personalities somebody could have thought that something that was extremely demonic was actually cosmic and they had to learn that lesson with this school they had to learn a lesson all right they lost i'm telling you somebody was trying to like learn about the occult in a negative way and and they they spiraling out All right, and they wanted you to feel naked, vulnerable. All right, somebody wanted you to feel naked and vulnerable by the spirit. Somebody wanted the spirits to just, like, let you go, like, detach from you and let you fall. Like, the spirits won't hold you up and protect you anymore. Yeah, this person is falling. Like, somebody feels like they're going crazy because they can't have SEX with you. Like, they feel like you need to fall apart. You need to go down because they can't sleep with you. That's crazy. Look, because they know that you are Madonna, a black Madonna. It's like you are an imprint of that, all right? Like an impression or express that, all right? I don't know, an expression, okay? An expression of the that, the black Madonna. I almost said something else, all right? I feel like this is someone that wants you to feel blocked in your studies. Like, this is someone that's a snake, man. They're sending you a whole bunch of, like, snake energy as well to keep you blocked. What is this snake energy? Like, this could be venom, poisonous energy. This is someone that could be working with, like, snake, snake skin. I'm seeing that. Like, somebody's working with some type of snake skin with, like, their voodoo. All right, somebody, I'm telling you, somebody could have been, like, um, attacking your baby or your child when, or your baby when you was pregnant. All right, like, they trying to say you was not supposed to give birth here. You guys could have got pregnant a lot of times, and these comments are trying to stop you. Something about numbers. I'm here. your number's going to go up. Your number's going to increase. All right, accelerate very quickly here. All right, work. I feel like these people want you to stop working. They want you to stop thinking, like, your numbers are going to go up or you're going to be successful. Like, they're trying to control how you think. This is someone that knows that you're meant to be in the spotlight, a celebrity, I'm literally seeing glitz and glamour all over you guys. And I feel like y'all gave birth to star children. 
okay? I feel like there's angel numbers surrounding and protecting you at this time, okay? There's plenty of angel numbers surrounding you and protecting you at this time. <sighs> You're meant to shine, all right? Unexpectedly for some people, maybe unexpectedly for you in the sense of you didn't expect to shine so damn brightly. Yeah, I feel like they want this snake to, like, bite your brain and poison your brain to close your crown, block your intelligence, like, research the brain and how the certain, there's certain compartments in the brain where it affects our memory, our imagination, our dreams, etc. all right? They trying to, like, get to your subconscious mind here. Like, yeah, this is someone that's working voodoo with picture magic. They could be working with, um, I'm seeing the black Santa Murta, okay, with the snake, okay? She could be very dangerous. I'm getting, she is very dangerous. You want to be careful her energy. I mean, all these spirits are loving. They have loving hearts. They will sit down and have tea with you, but don't cross them. And don't cross anyone who they have a soul connection with, because you're crossing them at that moment. Yeah, this definitely could be Santa Murta. I picked her up in either air or earth signs. I can't remember. Somebody could be trying to keep you paralyzed with like a saint, all right? Like a powerful religious figure that's like, that could be like like Saint, let's say Saint Michael, Saint Lazarius, you know, a saint here, saint, Santa Murta, okay? Yeah, they're trying to cause catastrophes, explosion, towers with a saint. That's what I'm seeing. That's why I'm getting y'all are protected by so many, and you and your children. You and your children are surrounded by angel numbers at this time. Let me mention your children, but, you know, with you is your kids, too. Your masculine, all right? I should say you and your family, all right? Because your masculine is included with that, okay? This karmic, they think they can get you, but they know that they can't, but they keep trying to find a way. They're late. Every Listen, with this being late, it's like their spells is arriving to you. They're not arriving to you at all. Now they, they Listen, it's like arriving to you late in the sense of being slowed down, and then it will just manifest into their life. This is someone that's trying to keep up because their spells are slowing down. Slowing them down because they're constantly dealing with explosions. Trying to send you explosions. Alright, this is someone that's thinking that the spell going to get you eventually. Or they thinking that it did got you, it did hit you. That's why, you know, you, I don't know. Feeling blank in the mind. I don't know, this could be someone at work. Alright, they may know like, why am I getting feeling mindless? This looks like a brain too. Don't look like a brain. All right, I feel like, man, somebody trying to say they know your mind is bad. They know they're affecting your mind. They can tell how the way you do things or see things or how you react or respond to things. But it's really working on them. This could be someone that's black, too. You could be black as well, all right? And it's, it's just sad because we're just going against each other, okay? Somebody could also be saying something like, oh, you're just saying that because that person... Is like I don't know who's saying this, but somebody saying, "Oh, you're just saying that because they're black," or like somebody, or somebody could be thinking like, you know, you're saying something ignorant. I don't know. Like somebody may feel like you don't have a right to speak on like, like if like if you say something like, "Oh, like you know, black people should not go against one another. We should come together." Like this person, they get offended. All right, they get offended. They may feel like they black or they have black in their blood. All right, they work with black ancestors and they feel like, you know, you you don't have a right to say these things. We've gone through a lot. We have a right to riot or we have a right to talk our shit. Like, but yeah, it's, it's like, it was how the way you do things. All right, you could be calling out the injustice in our own community and somebody else is black that's there. Like, they feel like, you know, you low key racist or prejudice or racist or ignorant and they're trying to say things like oh you're just judging them because they're black from the hood or you think they're black and ratchet or something like that i don't know there could be another way around somebody could be projecting that onto you all right judging where who you are and where you're from or whatever like that but somebody could be also saying like they know how to call on the deceased call on the dead okay and they don't want you to know this like this is someone that's also trying to project like they're not doing all these things to you. Like, all these things that's happening to you is not because of them. It's because of your own life or whatever like that. This person's really trying to mess with your head. 
All right, they want you to feel like you're drowning, spiraling in thoughts. This person could be spiraling and drowning in thoughts here. Like, this is someone they need to learn their lesson, and this is the only way. All right, they were trying to stop you from learning your lesson, okay? And I, it's like this person may feel like they're being stopped from learning the lesson. No one is stopping them from learning the lesson. Somebody may feel like spirit is blocking them from moving forward with you, which means like they're being blocked from learning the lesson with you. The lesson was them trying to make you feel vulnerable and naked. All right, and trapped. And now they're feeling that way, feeling trapped. I know y'all can barely see the word. All right, it could be a group of people. They're all feeling trapped by their demons or by some type of demon. I saw demigod here, so some type of dark demigod. They called on, they chanted on, they chanted on some type of god, some type of deity. They called something in or some type of saint figure. All right, Santa Martha is a saint, even though she deals with, you know, um... I'm here. Well, she doesn't just deal with death, like endings or transformation, anything like that. All right, let me, because I don't, I never studied her. Let me get my phone. I want to tell y'all specifically, because I never called on her or anything, but I honor her. You know her presence. Saving the world does benefit us all. Yeah, she moves between life and death and protects her followers from death. And she understands who who life who live close to death. Okay, there we go. She understands who live close to death. All right. A provider of health. Yeah, so basically, yeah, I know what she's about. But somebody could have been projecting like, you know, she deals with death and I can like call death using her name, using her power, but she also resurrects, she also saves, she also heals. All right, she provides, she's a provider of health, okay, she, again, she protects, all right, Santa Martha is, is much simply, it's much more than simply a grim reaper, and I was picking up a reaper, but some people, they don't like to honor her as that, and I get it, all right, because she is royalty, all right, I'm hearing she's a princess, okay, so, yeah, I'm sh sure, her divine connections are royal, okay? But anywho, somebody feel like their mind is about to pop. Like they feel like their head is about to explode. Like this could be a bad headache here. I don't know. I don't know what this is. This could be a tumor on someone's brain, maybe something cancerous. They could have manifested this ish just by overthinking, bad, being bad-minded, attacking your crown, and it backfired on them. If you guys, you know, ever gone through anything, any injuries, it's because this karmic energy is about to backfire. That's why they're having heavy headaches and all type of stuff. Why am I hearing heavy wedding? Somebody was trying to send heavy energy towards, like, your wedding here. But like I said, somebody, somebody could have been trying to call on the Holy Spirit. Look, their teeth falling out. This is not a good sign. They feeling vulnerable right now, Okay. Vulnerable in your waking life, okay? A strong indicator. Sometimes when I get that strength card, I'll be like, it's strong energy. That's, that's the spirit is telling me that's a strong indicator with that strength card. It will it represent a strong indicator, right? This person, they teeth falling out. This is good. This is not good, I mean. All right? It said it can also symbolize fear of losing something or someone important to your emotional or material survival. After all, without teeth you can't eat and nourish yourself all right somebody is about to lose something and i feel like it's going to cause them to like dissipate if i said that right you know turn that down this person may be feeling neglected frustrated overlooked or inferior somebody was definitely telling lies Y'all, listen, this is a sign. Listen, somebody is about to lose some type of... Listen, somebody's about to lose a resource here. Like, like it says, without teeth, you can't eat and nourish yourself. They're about to lose something that's going to make them lose nourishment for themselves. All right? And this could even be bad health. That's that's the symbolism that they're about to lose something that they need. 
and they feel very vulnerable right now. I'm telling they listen, this is someone they went to the bees. This is someone that could have went to Oshun and Oshun cursed them. They could have went to like the top of the mountains to find some type of shaman or some witch doctor that like live very far. They don't live close. Live somewhere in the outskirts. All right, and they may work with Ifa or oh, not want to say Ifa or Risha energy. All right, and um, yeah, it did work. They could have gave Oshun flowers, offerings, and, and that shit is striking them. Offerings and flowers to take you down. Let me be clear. And that's, it strikes them because they're not supposed to be giving flowers and food to take somebody else down. This is someone they thought they were so damn smart. They thought they were smart. And they're not. Mino, turn that down. Mino, turn it down. Let me look up Dream of... Um, Mina, turn it down, baby. Hold on, y'all. Anxiety, loss, insecurity. Listen, I just looked it up. Dreams of losing teeth. Look. I know my screen. Look. Look at the bottom. Look. I'm telling you, somebody may not want to believe that's true. But it does indicate a death, something, listen, while losing teeth and dream doesn't predict a literal death, it can symbolize fear of loss, change, or end of a phase in your life. I'm telling y'all, listen, I'm seeing a health, cri a health crisis for this karmic. I'm not predicting, I'm not trying to predict a literal death, but this is someone I was playing with. Death energy. Okay? Playing with some type of ending. Energy. It, and it strike their damn mouth. Why am I here playing with the birds and the bees? And then, and then we literally saw with birds and bees. So listen, the Holy Spirit and Oshun, who is messing with these holy forces to like harm you, to unalive y'all pretty much? This is not cool. This is not cool. This is not good. Anxiety, that's why they feel an anxiety, man. They feel like, look, it goes right back to it. Some people believe that dreaming about losing teeth is a symbol of anxiety or fear about losing something important in your life, such as your job. Look, look, I can't make nothing up. Where is it? Fear of losing your job, your health. Or a relationship. A karmic could be losing a relationship that they was codependent on. I'm not making none of this up. This is a part of learning their lesson. Somebody wanted this on y'all. Somebody is out here trying to predict. I, I guess they're watching my reading. Trying to predict that, you know, you guys are going to um, dream of, of your teeth falling out or wake up with falling teeth. Are right, they trying to fucking wish that and predict that on y'all that they still... Gonna be dreaming of their teeth falling out. You see them teeth falling? It's falling. Listen, I feel like this is someone that was trying to put order on you guys, like I said. All right, you see it? Wait, you see it? And it backfired. And now they have to learn a lesson for trying to order somebody. Look, this was an intruder in your energetic sacred space, trying to unalive y'all with, with using like dark poisonous energy. Basically, there was, a, there was an intruder in your energy by tapping into your energy with, with, with whatever dark spell. That was meant to be poisonous, venomous. All right? To unalive y'all. And you'll be deceased. They wanted you dead in your home where it won't look like, like any murder. It won't look like, you know, somebody was trying to break in or anything. You will just be dead. Like heart attack or some some stroke. Yup. Or you, you'll, like, your your body parts is like, you'll, you'll just be dead. You know? That's what I'm just seeing. Like, you'll be dead and I don't know who like, this is, I'm not about to go too deep with that with these body parts, but I was just seeing like, your body is just flimsy, you know? Like, lifeless. I, I don't know. So some of you guys, this karmic day bloodline is connected with that lady in New Orleans who had that dungeon with slaves and, and she was also cutting up their bodies too and using some of their body parts for rituals. Their bloodline connect with that. Somebody may think their bloodline connect with Marie Lavu. No, it connects with that that wicked that wicked witch from New Orleans. All right, being chased. This person feel like they're being chased. They're being chased by their demons. It's time for them to cough up, pay up here.
This is also someone they could be they could be running from the devil because the devil is about to what listen. The devil about to sacrifice them. They about to be done. And it's crazy because this person already has sacrificed themselves with their own free will. But now the devil has control of them. And the devil about to throw them in the pits of hellfire. Okay? The devil is done with this person. The devil want nothing to do with this person. All right? They done tricked this person. Listen. This person done tricked you and everybody else. And they can't use the devil energy no more to try to, to trick anyone. Trying to use the devil for their power as a superpower. I keep hearing Marie Lavu, Marie Lavu. Like, I don't know why. That's that good juju card. Someone may know that your bloodline connects with her. Because you come from, like, a powerful voodoo family. You come from, like, a powerful voodoo practitioner. All right, and that bloodline, I'm getting, as the bloodline evolved, I feel like, she became a part of that and you, but I feel like some people, they don't believe that. They don't want to believe in that power, all right? Or they don't want to believe that you have it. Maybe somebody feel like they do, but not you. man i don't know somebody may get hit by a bus while driving a car they better not go home driving drunk here because the spirits is not going to protect them if they driving drunk somebody could be getting prepared to go out they better be careful somebody be leaving their kids at home to go out here okay or they leave their kids home with other guys to go out all right they, that person karma is coming all right i don't feel like the ancestors like what they're doing all right they're not really living a good life. I feel like their kids is better off with other family members, to be honest with you, than with this person. All right, this person, all they wanted was sex from you. Somebody could have been driving themselves crazy because you know about you know about Marie Lavu. All right, something about, like, Haitians. All right, you may know about Haitian voodoo, Haitian culture, roots and culture here, ha Haitian food. All right, you could have um, been involved with someone that is ha Haitian. All right, maybe other Haitians gotten involved. Maybe they didn't like it, okay? One of you guys that is a, mem a member is Haitian, so shout out to you. I do check to see who my members are. And I was actually shocked but happy because it's like, yay, I'm glad that I'm resonating with you guys because y'all energy do pop out and like voodoo practitioners. All right, but there could be someone, you know, that is Haitian or working with Haitian voodoo. They don't want you to see this. Maybe they don't want you to see, like, your Haitian side. Um, but Marie Lavu, she was um, from New Orleans, so. I think, I don't know. Y'all let me know what her, if there was any Haitian in her blood. But I would not be surprised if she, um. Next with that. Yeah, I know I'm about to look it up. Herbalist slash midwife. The booty queen. I feel like, um, I feel like her bloodline connects with Haitians, of course. All right, but like I said, she's from New Orleans. All right, but somebody that could be Haitian, they connect with her, and they were trying to say, like, you don't connect with her, or, you know your mind like you, you can't channel her all right or connect with her telepathically or 
like like you're not the medium that can like talk with her or something like that i don't know why it's, this was like important like someone made this important like they made this like their main focus to like take you down with marie lavu power or energy somebody could be trying to say they they watch the american horror story with marie lavu somebody could be like extremely like obsessed with marie lavu maybe like her biggest fan This is someone that is lost in their death spell. Their teeth falling apart. But listen, this is someone they could have lost whatever soul connection or soul tie they had with Marie Laveau and all their spirit guides. Maybe they once could have connected with her, but that was destroyed. They destroyed it here. Water. Somebody could have destroyed, destroyed like their soul or spiritual connection by going to Yamaya the wrong way. Like somebody could also gave up like you know <clears throat> their I guess Louisiana, New Orleans roots and culture or Haitian voodoo to be a part of Ifa, okay, as well. Somebody could be like transitioning to just strictly be a part of Ifa instead of like Haitian voodoo. Alright, somebody could have went to a Haitian, I mean, to either, listen, somebody could have went to either a Haitian voodoo priest to strike their man for cheating on them with someone, all right, or at least that's what they was thinking, they could have found something, all right, and somebody, you know, they could have, they could be a part of um, either, maybe they say they're part of E5, but they on the logo to like these Haitian voodoo priests to do dark work. Some of them do be dark magicians, all right, not to say that they're bad people, but they do dark work, all right, and what I was about to say, or this could be a, just a random person going to a, a Haitian practitioner with a picture to do a separation spell to strike this lady, this could be you guys, take it out resonate, this lady, she's striking y'all, take it out resonate and protect yourself, you didn't know he was involved, you didn't know he was cheating, he ain't mentioned that, but she don't believe that, she would never believe that. Some of y'all be careful who you getting ready to go out with because this person, they got a whole family with children. You got children. It's not worth it. I feel like at the end of the day, y'all may end up crossed up in a crossfire because she's trying to strike you and him. And you got kids. You don't want to be out here getting caught up in no accidents or caught up in anything. All right, messing around with this, this man and his crazy mistress lady or whoever she is. All right, but like back to what I was saying, somebody could have um, messed up pretty much their spirit their spiritual protection, their spiritual rights because they paid the wrong practitioner and they went outside of their spiritual calling. Like what they was called to do with their work and practices. Like they was probably meant to just stay. Like not saying they're bound to like Ifa or bound to Haitian Guru or bound to New Orleans or whatever like that, but it, it's like this order and they went out of order doing that all right it's like there is no honor and prince or principle in that all right it's like they dishonored themselves they paid the wrong person and they could have most likely used yamaya all right or oshun that's what i'm getting all right and and, and, and i don't even recall anyone using yamaya or oshun. maybe oshun maybe to break up a relationship, I don't know, but I never heard of Yemaya, but I'm not saying it can't be done, you know, maybe I just don't know how, and that's fine, I don't want to know how, alright, but, I don't know, that's what they was thinking, this could be a practitioner online that they reached out to, thinking in the back of their mind they can use this practitioner call to cause an, an explosion in your mind, like make you crazy about them, somebody wanted you to lose your mind as well with magic, like somebody was paying someone to get you to lose your mind, to make you lose your mind, with magic, with spell work. Somebody was definitely like plotting on cutting up your body parts. Like I'm telling you, I knew what I was saying. I just didn't want to say it. And like somebody, somebody definitely had a demon on them. They was like they would eat your body parts, like as a sacrifice. This was sick. Somebody could have been meeting up with other like um, satanists that do ritual like. People that do rituals online, like, not online, but people that do rituals, period, all right? They was reaching out to them online, all right? Food or drink, remember what I was saying? Like, somebody was, that's why I got the food download from, well, them eating your, you, as like I said, this is sick. 
And this is, listen, with this being late, this is what's catching up to them. Them just putting that shit out there. That thought is coming back around. Like, somebody could have, like, posted this shit. Like, you know, you do you know that you can, like, you know, eat your person body? Like, take a piece of their skin and, and <clears throat> use it as a sacrifice? Like, somebody could have po made a post about that, like, and they could have even gotten, like, reported for saying that or, like, they page or comment got taken down okay because they said something so inappropriate and, and nasty and low vibrational if y'all ever watched those stories that explain about that white girl who called on papa legba and how she was like posting in the group little inappropriate things that was like too far all right if y'all y'all should watch it's the black cauldron she talked about it with that girl who called papa legba i think she was the one that actually explained it that way i think all right i'm not for sure all right y'all follow her or whatever and check that out because this is the vibe that I'm getting. Like somebody could have posted like cannibalism. Like and you could use that as like a ritual or sacrifice. And they this is someone, man, they got a mind like a like a, a, a mindless child. And like most children are like smart. They're focused. This is they're not focused. And this could be a big grown man. Alright, and I feel like their past actions is catching up to them or caught up to them. They may end up in the mental institution. Like, I see them in, like, something like that. Like, this could have been someone that could have been in, like, one of those. Like, special need at school. I'm seeing that. They could have been special need. Maybe, like, you know, they. I'm, been, I'm getting, like, their attention span. They zone out a lot. And they may try to, like, hide that from you guys. But they zone out a lot. There's only, like, a few things that, like, really catch their attention. Like, they'll really, like, stay focused on. Okay? This person don't want you to be on social media. This is crazy. Somebody's trying to get their mind together, but they can't look Acropolis. I'm thinking a zombie Acropolis when they eating each other. I'm telling you, somebody was even plotting on eating a family. I can't make it up. Somebody got a demon on them. It's definitely an Acropolis and, and disa a disaster. All right, shit, listen, shit is definitely about to end. Somebody was planning on eating a family. They have a nasty demon on them. All right, somebody could be going crazy on their family because they thinking that their partner cheated on them. That could be you guys. They thinking like you cheated or all because you with somebody else. All right, somebody was thinking like you cheating at some, you cheating on them with somebody at work. All right, listen, this is someone they, they're falling apart, especially mentally, okay, because they're plotting. Listen, this is something, they, they was not prepared to do this to you guys or to like their family like this is crazy whatever they're gonna do to their family all right some but this building somebody power is collapsing man i'm telling you man somebody got a bad headache somebody head hurts so bad and it makes them like just want to go crazy because they can't get the pain to go away they could be blaming everybody but themselves for this like people could be telling like this was your choice you made the decision to like <clears throat> do whatever they did even if it's spell work black magic like whoever they was doing spell work with they could be blaming them saying this is your fault you told me to do this remember i just say in past reads somebody was taught how to do certain things and even if they paid the person they're blaming them and they said this is not my fault this is all on you they don't want to take a blame take the blame or accountability for losing you they also want to blame you as well but also make you feel sorry for them mm -mm. All these karmics want you to feel sorry for them. I'm telling you, a karmic is, is like so tied to their death spell. I'm telling you, that's what I'm seeing with this teeth falling out and marriage and wedding. I'm just seeing with the ring. That's the bond right there. They're so, yeah, they're tied to this disaster. Somebody was trying to say you was making stuff up about somebody to make them out to look like this bad, evil person. And that's when they was doing all this spell work on you. Like that made them any better. Made them a better person to do spell work on you. What an idiot. All right, they all being chased by their demons and they feel trapped and they feel like they're drowning. This is fucked up energy that they're in. This is what this person get for wandering in some dark, in the dark realm. You see all this darkness? They was wandering in something that they're unfamiliar with. The occult with that secret. Stuff that energy work that people barely use. Even certain shit that Satanists won't use. This is like another Aleister Crowley type shit. Like cutting up your body parts. And then eating it, that's wild. That's a wild ritual right there. This is someone that wanted to set you up, to strip you naked, S-A-U, and then murder you. This is some. This is a sick trial here. This is like, and, and there are cases like this, and I shared some of them. 
but they're rare. It's, it's not common. This is an uncommon energy. So if this is someone that's thinking that this is something that's normal, it's not. A lot of y'all just want to mind your business and take care of your kids. And here go this motherfucker trying to come in and fuck shit up for you. Somebody needs to address the elephant in the room. That this person's mind ain't right and they try to mess up your head. They try to come down on your crown because you know everything. Too much. Listen, I'm telling you, this is someone that was in special needs in school. They're not intelligent enough to, to put two and two together. They're not intelligent enough to figure out what's right and wrong for them because... I mean, listen, somebody may feel like they can, they done, they made good decisions in the past. I don't see how they could be doing a lot better. This is someone that they, they could, they can have like a mindless family. And you know, this is why I feel like their judgment is going to be pinned on their family, which is why I was getting, they may end up harming their own family. I don't know if they're going to do all that eating stuff, but they were definitely plotting on that already. I'm getting, that was already a thought that came to their mind. But I feel like they're going to end up blowing up on their family. Because, that listen, their family keep protecting them. It's the same family that protects them, and that's the, that's the, that's the ones that they're going to betray. they already been betraying them. But my, my whole thing is, it's like somebody was trying to, like, enable them and have excuses. Like, it's not that this person can't have control of their own mind. They just seeing things differently than others. So you think it's okay to plot? Like, they, they listen, this is someone that's in the dark. Like, they want to say, well, you know, how they have a mental illness is they can think and plot of all these things. Like, someone that's, that's not mentally ill can think or plot. Like, somebody was thinking that way. Or maybe it was this damn karmic saying that. Like, you know, maybe, like, for some of you guys, this karmic... They could be arguing against you guys behind a fake account. They could be using, like, a family member photo, pretending like, oh, I'm my sister, I'm my cousin, I'm my auntie. And they're trying to, quote, unquote, justify themselves, all right, through this fake account. And I say justify, but like that, because there's no justifying anything. And they're basically trying to say, if I was mentally ill, I won't be smart enough to plot and plan against you. All right, I don't feel like people know the the depths of this person plotting, like wanting to unalive you, sacrifice you, do all these crazy things with your body parts. Okay, have you completely unprepared and 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 in the vulnerable and, and in the vulnerable moment? Like this is someone that wanted to get you set up in like a building, an empty building, and like a whole bunch of guys just gain up on you, gain the like, S A U, then ritually a um a sacrifice you and assault you. I heard, I heard Richard Lee assault you. I feel like in the end, they was going to um, unalive y'all. This was the plot. This was the plan. They was going to all meet up with you. A group of guys. This is maybe a guy thinking like they can make you believe that they like you. They want to be with you. Or this ex, hey, let's meet up. Let's, let's, you know, let's be together again. And then and you'll be crazy enough to meet up with them. And then that happens. No. This person want to disturb your peace because y'all just focus on your children. But this, it's like I'm seeing y'all, y'all could be in your closet getting your clothes together for, for your kids, um, getting your clothes together for the day, getting your, your kids' clothes together. Your kids could be playing while you cleaning up, folding clothes, doing whatever with clothes. And here go this motherfucker trying to disturb your peace with something that you're not even prepared for, that you wouldn't be, but you, I'm prepared. You now want that shit ain't going to work, but they're a sicko. This is someone that's spying on the low, and the, and the ones that enable this person trying to say they're not crazy, you the crazy one for thinking this way about them. No, they're the crazy ones, all right, for thinking that they can destroy you this way. The elephant, like I said, back to the elephant in the room. This person, I don't know, I'm just, I'm seeing them like they're eating, like, foods that's lowering their vibration. All right, candy, certain candies that just may, maybe make them, like, ADHD-like. Like, this person, they may feel like they need to study you. Or they may feel like they know everything about you. This is narcissism. This is narcissism. And I feel like, again, they lack intelligence. Okay, this, listen. Somebody needs to address the elephant in the room, man. Like, this person tried to send you disasters. It's not your fault. They chose to do this shit. Somebody's trying to say you did something to them because you broke up with them. Some, it's like somebody could have had, this karma could have, like, somebody else believing that you really did something to them because you walked away from them. They couldn't believe that you walked away and washed your hands. They had to believe that you spiritually attacked them, tried to, like, sabotage them, do something wrong and evil to them after you broke up with them. They truly believe, like, you, like, now that it's over, you're behind the scenes of spiritually attacked. That's what they was doing, man. They was projecting. 
That's what they was doing. These people wanted to believe it, believe in the projection. And they also wanted to believe that their spells that they was projecting were working. And y'all was picking up on them projecting and projecting spells. It was only a fucking projection. It couldn't, it couldn't be anything else. And it's not going to stick. All right, a lot of, listen, I feel like a lot of their spells could have been projections because they could have been trying to, like, tarnish your image. Have people look at you a certain way. Maybe these, like, glamour spells. Doing all these spells, experimenting on y'all. Then it was, I wasn't experimenting, you know, I, I know how to do this stuff. I have a strong mind. I know my intention. Yeah, and that's why shit backfiring on your ass and you in the five of fucking pinnacles. Some of these people getting old way too early. They open up Pandora's box and they got nothing but snakes. And roaches and spiders, centipedes, and they got nothing but bad luck. Opening up this realm, this door, this chest of, vo of voodoo. They thought they can control it. A lot of them, they feeling like broken bones. And they back, like, they feel like they back broke. Because whatever chasing them is, is on their fucking back. Like, literally, God strike them in the back. This person better be fucking careful. All right, they trying to run so they won't get exposed. We already see you. God saw you. You can try to hide from us, but God saw you. All right, and this person could be running. I'm seeing them running underwater. They're trying to. They're drowning, and trying to run at the same time. Nah, you you out of gas. That's why you feel trapped. Because you out of gas. You can't run and drown at the same time, and you can't take a leap of faith out of this. There's no cliffs for you to jump off of. All right, this is someone they would rather jump ship. Then deal with this type of pain. I'm telling you. And they could be trying to project this shit on everybody. Like, this energy that's on them that they don't like. That's like negative energy. And it's not working. It's just stuck on them. This could have been someone that was trying to curse your friends and your family. And look how they're going to turn on their family. Somebody was definitely researching. Well, looking you up online on their cell phone. They still have your number saved. Something about, like, an app. You may have your own app. Or website, application I'm hearing, and they, they always on your shit, all right? Or always on, like, a social media app. Somebody was researching about Yamaya. See the beach? They was researching about Yamaya, how to use Yamaya on your crown. I told you, somebody was using Yamaya in a way that I never heard of before. This could have been, like, people could be finding out that this karmic is not really a practitioner. All right, I do feel, listen, all they wanted to do was just unalive, y'all. All right, but listen, what I was about to say, remember I was saying that somebody... You know, was using Jemaya, but I was around that. I think I was talking about the practitioners. I was the Haitian voodoo, or you know, somebody was left one spiritual practice to another. No, me, you know. All right, in the midst of that, I did say that somebody was using Jemaya. I feel like this was like an inexperienced practitioner who was trying to call on Jemaya to like cast a dark curse on you. No, me, I don't have it. Listen, somebody. Listen, this is crazy. I'm seeing way too much. Some of y'all really... Uh, some of them really wanted y'all murdered on the live because y'all took a leap of faith out of their life. Alright? Flying without wings in a dream is almost always an, an exhilarating, positive symbol. So, you guys, I feel like they wanted y'all on the live because y'all about to celebrate. It's a celebration of something happening in your waking life that gives you or will soon give you a high. Perhaps you perhaps you feel you've achieved or, on, or, or are on the brink of something significant. <laughs> this deep satisfaction can relate to relationships, travels, your professional life, or a personal project like a business. However, creative or practical in nature. So basically, like I was saying, like this could be an ex you moved on from them. Some of you guys you moved on into another relationship. You starting your own business, and they they try to hurt you. All right, and they, I feel like this is someone that wanted you to be like to grow old very young. All right, if that makes sense. I don't know. Somebody also wanted you like abducted, not like abducted that that way, but you know what I'm trying to say. Somebody could have been trying to predict that, like you wanna get abducted by aliens or something. I feel like somebody feels stuck. Like somebody feel like they can't move. You know when you like you see and you know you can't move out that energy. Somebody may end up abducted. Are y'all gonna have a dream on a starship? 
If the spirit's about to abduct y'all at night, y'all don't got to worry. Okay, this could be like a visit from like an ancestor that is, you know, a, why are you biting on me? Yeah. That is a, um, in their galactic form, their star galactic form. Okay, listen. Somebody wanted to do what they do in your castle, and they mad that they can't. Somebody, I said this, um, for my subscribers on Instagram, I believe. Somebody was lying and saying, like, you have sex with, like, like, Spirits or demon succubuses. Somebody may have a succubus on them. Yeah, you guys. Some of you guys are about to feel like free mentally. Okay, because you could have been feeling mentally entrapped. Certain thoughts, memories. You got a full moon coming up soon. So it's time for you to like to dead or put to rest these negative thoughts or memories. Like it's no longer serving you. And I feel like this is someone that want to keep you stuck in your traumas. Like keep you spiraling out in like your traumas. Any like if you have any like sexual traumas, they want to keep you bound to that here. Like man, somebody going to burn in hell. So I'm getting with this fire. Some of you have to be the fire element. They're going to burn in hell. Y'all may have fire placements. They're going to burn in hell. Your ancestors are going to deliver them to the pits of hell. All right, then I say the devil about to throw them in in, in, in hell fire. See, so, so for some of you guys, the devil going to do it himself. But for some of y'all, your ancestors, they're high rank and, and powerful. They can just do it themselves. All right, understand that. There may be a war. Like what? I'm getting like a war between technology and nature. All right, AI and nature. There's definitely going to be a war between technology and nature. Some people may think that war is like, you know, we need to stay off of technology and be more into nature. Well, no, we need to find the balance because you're, listen, I'm, you're going to end up on social media. Sometimes you're going to have to end up on social media to get certain information or resources. Like I told y'all before, it's not, the point is not to run from social media. It's to make it balanced and, and righteous and clean. But it is going to be like a war. I'm hearing the battles of the finish. Like who's, like, they, I feel like those one percenters feel like AI is going to win over humans because they programming these AIs to be um, infinite. But like I said, we are infinite. They want us to forget that we are infinite. Make it seem like, you know, we truly the robots that shut down and break down after a while. And the robots are infinite life. Then they're not. AI is not infinite life. Oh, you have juice in your room on your dresser. I put it there in the pink cup. Look in your room in the pink cup. <sighs> yep. Remember, we are technology star seeds. That shit flows in our blood. Our blood is 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 full of codes, full of upgrades. Okay, our DNA alone, we don't need AI. Don't be codependent on AI, your Apple Watch, your phone. Just find the balance, okay? Because us as powerful beings, you know, we're going to create technology. That's just a part of who we are. It's just creating the right technology, not explosive or bombs or anything like that. Using our resources to create destruction. That That is not the purpose of our world, our planet, or this multiverse, okay? A.K.A. reptiles. Okay, these these little sex demons. All right, but some of y'all y'all gonna have y'all a trip with spirit, and you just gonna come back feeling a lot more emotionally free. Cause somebody was trying to tie your emotions to like traumas, either their traumas or your traumas. Somebody was trying to wish death on y'all. I felt it. I'm I'm telling you because they thinking you wishing it on them. If you a reader. All right, you exposing death rituals. They they thinking that you doing it to them now that you know the truth. They thinking you about to do it. They're crazy. This is that's a pure sign of you can't take what you dished out. That's just literally what that resonates with. You can't take what you dished out. Let me get three extra cards. They said that they can, but they can't look. Y'all got too much positive energy around you. Y'all got you see it says positive symbol. Y'all got too much positive energy. Y'all not falling. Y'all rising. Y'all flying without wings. How y'all flying without fucking wings? That's because the wings is, is inside of you. All right? You literally navigating and, and, and gliding in the air. 
All right? And they falling. You guys are in opposite energies and in, and in opposite direction. They're heading towards an ending, y'all. Look, it, it, listen, it says, however, it may also come from a sense of freedom. Didn't I say after y'all have this trip with spirit in y'all dream state? And it's funny how I have a dream deck, and I wasn't even thinking about the dream, like the fact that I have a dream deck at that moment when I picked that up. But then I say, y'all going to be feeling free mentally. The lifting of restrictions after a period of confinement. Then I say that this person, I just said it. They're trying to keep you in trap in your traumas. All right, or perhaps a leap forward in your personal development. Them keeping you trapped in your traumas is blocking you from your personal development. And a part of them knew that keeping you trapped spiritually will block you from moving on. Or 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 block you from like growing and, and finding out the truth. At least that's what they thought. They could they that's what they thought. Not that they knew, that's what they thought. They could have figured all this shit out just by watching you, studying you, figuring out your energy, getting readings done. <sighs> Anyways, if the flying is easeful, this confirms that the idea that you're feeling is self-assured, positive, and your fork even. Okay, so listen, it's nothing bad. It's only good things. And listen, God is seeing them fall, and, and God is not catching them. This is someone they, listen, this is someone they open a the door that leads to, like, unknown energy that's not good. It's like, they're like a, like a black hole. Like, they'll be sucked in, and they can never be found again. This is someone that they may disappear. Whoa. They, listen, time is ticking. Time is of the essence. They may just disappear. All right. And I do see them introducing aliens. All right. I'm still seeing. You remember that gray that they, they saw? That, I mean, that they, um, that the president was shaking hands back, that gray that he was shaking hands back in the 1960s or something? They're going to manifest something like that again. And they're going to, this alien is going to give them, like, some type of technology. I feel like they're going to announce the technology that they got from. Like, the heavens, pretty much the stars. I'm not even making this up. They're already exposing UFOs, so that could be one. Something that came from a UFO or something like that. Something that they brought down. I'm telling you, they got this shit orchestrated already. There was something else I was getting from this. But, yeah. It says technology here, though. That's where I got that, with those grays. All right, but Greys ain't the only ones that know about technology. Atlanteans do. I, I'm sure it was the Atlanteans that truly taught the Greys, and I'm sure it's the Greys that's teaching the reptiles, the reptilian stuff, but the Draconians, you know, they on a whole nother level. All right, this person feel like they can't eat or sleep because, look, you see that? They they feel entrapped in their own death spells. Didn't I tell you that? Well, y'all can't see the... Didn't I tell y'all? Didn't I tell y'all? Didn't I tell y'all? People be thinking I be making this up. Or they're like, oh, it's just the cards. It's it's the cards. You know, it's it's the cards. You know, if it wasn't for the cards, then you would never picked it up. Well, the cards is not is not telling no damn lies. And I've been with saying this. I feel stuff. You it was listen. I feel stuff, and the cards just confirm what I feel. And the cards do speak to me at times. It does, and and I'm blessed to be able to channel this energy because not everyone can pick this up not everyone can see this not everyone can see these intruders creeping in the dark thinking that they about to escape they but they about to learn a lesson with this fool all right somebody was acting like a wild animal and now they have to pay i did not say that a zoo they acting wild acting bizarre somebody literally is literally acting and they about to face karma somebody could be a, a libra actor or actress because libras are like actresses most of them are entertainers. I don't know why Libra is popping up. I'm looking at it right here. Look, wow, Libra, wow. You see, it's funny because sometimes I feel like when I speak it, it just like it, it manifests in my cards. And if it wasn't in true alignment with what I'm saying, I don't feel like it would manifest so magically. I also feel like what we're speaking is manifesting, all right, rather good or bad. So just be careful, all right? All right, somebody's trying to come in with a fake apology, and they think that's going to just make up everything, okay? But it's it's truly not. Somebody's going to fall during, like, a full moon. I feel like the, I feel like them, like, them falling apart is going to be exposed. So they're going to try to hide it. I feel like you knew everything. Somebody is, like, I 
I'm, I'm, I'm getting that strike in your crown because you know, but it's like, it's, it's deeper than that. I feel like they want you brain dead. Okay, you stand out. I feel like your wisdom is what keep, like is what stand you out. You had a fake friend jealous of how wise you are. That's a damn shame. All right, and because you're an empath and you can feel energy. Not only are you an empath, but you are an, an, an intuitive empath. You know what intuitives are, right? Psychics and all that, all right? Somebody, somebody could be trying to break down to you the difference between a psychic or empath or whatever like that. But you, it's like you already know what it is. Like somebody could have been trying to come to you and like share with you what they know, but it's like you didn't even ask. They just like this fake friend could be trying to say like, yeah, I know about empaths. I know about this. All right. I feel like they're trying to figure out what you know. All right. Because I feel like this is, they know you're magical. This could be someone that's like in their mind, like, oh, I know you do magic. I know you're using magic. Like for them to accuse you of doing black magic on them, that just shows that they never even trust you. This fake friend or even this lover who may have fake friends around them. All right. They all feeling blocked. Anything else? Somebody want me to end this reading. Oh, my God. I'm not about to end the reading. All right. Text messages. Man, listen. I feel like somebody was texting about you, and I feel like those messages, somebody's text messages got exposed, and they felt like they was falling off a cliff, like they were so embarrassed. Somebody could be embarrassed because their text messages got exposed in a tarot reading. Somebody could have got exposed in a reading, right? Like, they was like... Getting the reading done. Right in front of them while they're getting the reading done, they got exposed. Like something that they thought was hidden, the reader saw with their third eye. The truth. The truth was exposed to them. All right? Listen. And it was also exposed to the reader that you can't be bought. You can't get God. It's, it's none of that type of time. All right? Someone was trying to unlock your energy with tarot cards. Trying to, like, unlock the truth from you with tarot cards, all right? And that's the truth with this 5D reality. For a lot of you guys, you guys could be waking up to the truth that maybe you guys are meant to read tarot or you can read tarot. Your third eye can clearly read tarot. Like, these people can see, like, like you a tarot reader, all right? If you're a tarot reader, you had somebody texting about you, like, saying, oh, you a tarot reader, you, you think you this or that. They were saying some, like, petty, low vibrational stuff. All right, Pisces. Some of y'all could be a Pisces reader. All right, I get this sometimes. Y'all could be very intuitive, very insightful, it's, it's very sensitive. All right, you felt this intruder tapping into your energy. They didn't know what the fuck they was going to expect tapping into your energy, but they didn't expect to see good energy. All right, somebody definitely was tapping into your energy. Could have been a Pisces reader. You could be a Pisces reader too. They got to resonate. You got Pisces in your chart. But they, they saw your divine masculine. They didn't expect to see that. All right, a lot of people, they are not expecting to see your divine counterpart. But when they do, they're going to be feeling shame because they was, like, cursing and wishing so you not to have your masculine. Somebody was trying to say, you're going to tie up your masculine with spell work because of your, your spirituality. All right? Your destiny is important, man. And somebody was trying to get your destiny tied up with, like, voodoo. They did not want you to be a spiritual guy. This could have been another spiritualist. That's so sad. And and for some of you guys, another spiritualist was trying to use your divine masculine against you by doing spell work on him or trying to use a divine masculine against you. It don't have to be yours. It could just be any masculine. All right. You could be very dreamy, Scorpio. Some of y'all could be watching TV a lot, seeing messages and shows. Some of y'all definitely, you know, feel like a boss or you see yourself as a boss here. You may see yourself manifesting big things, all right? Please don't give up on yourself. You are a chosen one. They're going to always be jealous of you, all right? For some of you guys, there's a Taurus trying to surround you with, like, their energy, like, their mean energy, and they want to slander you, or you could be dealing with a Taurus that's trying to, like, you could be dealing with, you could be a Taurus dealing with a mean-spirited person, and they're mean towards you because you're chosen. All right? Spirit said you sweet like pie and pudding. And you're manifesting that sweetness in your life. They're going to always talk about you because you're blessed. You're blessed with a lot of spiritual gifts. And a lot of these people mean to you because you're blessed and gifted. They didn't have to treat you like that because you're you're spiritually gifted. They didn't have to do that. But they did. And they gossiped about you being spiritually gifted and blessed. They gossip about your intuition. 
Yes, they did. They gossiped about it, saying how you think you all this intuitive, how you see all these things, but they don't believe it. They think it's you a fraud. They may believe somebody else can do it, but not you. They was bullying you with black magic, too. Yes, they was bullying y'all with black magic. All right? Never in my life have I saw this type of bullshit. All because they trying to hide your financial blessing, your spiritual birthright, your spiritual inheritance that's, like, on the way. And that's like the main theme is black magic with these people. And they really thought that they can do it. Look, and they very nosy. Trying to cover up them, their nosy energy. Uh-uh. We taking back control. This bully, they can't have control over you. And they know they can't have control over you. I don't know why they keep trying. They just controlling themselves. Once they look within, they start to see. They will start to see the end. They're controlling themselves. Look. They're controlling themselves, bind, bounding themselves to the devil. Binding themselves to the devil here. All right, then I say the devil gonna throw them in hellfire. Somebody could definitely be up and down in their in their waking life because the devil is taunting them. The devil is affecting their frequency, their vibration. They don't like it. They feel like they're being taunted or you know um, teased by the devil. All right, somebody with like in some player energy, like somebody Knight of Wands actions caught up to them. Them being in and out of your your life, your energy, this false queen of pentacles. Y'all could be an earth sign, but there's a false queen of pentacles. She's a witch. She is receiving consequences for doing magic. All right. And, and pretty much being in and out, being in and out of your life with magic. All right. People want to say, why do I pick up on magic, black magic on time? That's what I want to focus on. But my reading is not about what I focus on is what spirit brings to me. But like some of y'all just be jealous and mad that I can see these things and you can't see it for yourself you need to do some inner work and it's not about seeing all it is it's just about being in alignment with what's right for you and this is me being in alignment with this reading in the sense of the exposure of it and the truth is in alignment with me and my star seeds because y'all need me to expose this truth my star seed all right i told you man this devil man this person is bound to the devil they're trying to flee the devil's like you think you're going to get away from me they cannot listen the reaper man listen somebody man Somebody was creating some huge uproar or brawl in the in the spiritual world, even in the underworld. I'm seeing like the Reaper and the Devil clashing, like literally, yeah, because the Devil's like this soul is mine, but the Reaper like I have to get him, you know. According to the laws, I this person have to reap what they sow, and the Devil's like, no, I got them. F the laws. I'm in control of the laws. All right. I done changed the law. Now I got this person. It, and, and as I can see, it's fit for me to take them. You know, it's like if it, it, <laughs> the devil's like, you know, I'm sacrificing this person. <laughs> it's not funny. No, it's not. But it's funny because it's like the devil really wants to stay a person. The devil is like, I got it, Reaper. The Reaper, the devil, he ain't, I'm sorry. The Reaper is going to have to go somewhere else. There's some other souls that the Reaper can reap. There's two other souls. They can go after the karmic's friends. But this devil want this karmic that thought that they can, you know, this, I know this is y'all energy. But what I'm also seeing now, the energy is changing. But that doesn't mean that this ain't y'all energy. The energy changes what I'm seeing from the card. This person trying to jump shit. Leap. Away from the devil. And the devil like, where you going? The devil got their feet. They thought they can get away. They thought like, oh, my pants were falling and slipping. The devil would fall apart. No, the devil got a hold, got a hold of your legs. Yo, it's not like the devil grabbing you. And, you're in the, and this is someone that's thinking like, my pants will just fall off. You get what I'm saying? And then the devil will fall with my pants. No, the devil got a grip of you. They could be dreaming this shit. All right, and the devil after them. Like I said, they being chased here. All this could be manifesting in their dream state. And they think it's subconsciously my pants will set me free. <laughs> if I just take my pants off with the devil got their legs. <laughs> All right, because they freaking got on pants in this one. This I'm telling you, the energy just switched. The devil's like, no, and the reaper, they trying. It's like the reaper, like, I have to deliver the soul to the most high. They went against it. Like, for some of you guys, this could have been, like, um, a request for God to deal with this person for what they did to you. Like, you know... 
And it's not like y'all making sure that God, that God get this person so they'll be unalive. No, for them to get judgment. Like, you know, God exposed this person. God protect me and shed light on this situation. Shedding light is also that exposure. You ain't say no crazy hoopla like they trying to say. You ain't trying to place no curse. You just wanted the truth to come out. You just wanted yourself to be set free. And you got all of that. And the reaper's like, I have to do that. And it was your request, too. The devil's like, nah. The devil's like, I'm sure divine feminine masculine would prefer me with this person. If you all, if you guys only knew the devil, how badly the devil got this person. And you're like, all right, fine. Maybe I'll, maybe another time. The, the, the reaper's like, maybe another time. The devil even said that. Yeah, maybe another time I'll let you deal with them. But for right now, ten of, ten of wands, they feel it. Somebody feel heavy, hot and heavy. Hot because they they overwhelmed, shit catching up to them. All right, they got they man. Listen, they got an angry mean demon on them too. Ten of wands. L listen, somebody got a um. Yeah, I'm getting somebody got to collect their debt, and that's the reaper. The reaper's about to collect this person debt. Somebody's going to be definitely juggling financially. I feel like the the debt that this this reaper is taking from the karmic is money. All right, it's, 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 it's energy, right, that they're taking, but it's like energy is money. All right, like they owe, like they could have took so, trying to take so much from you with magic. All right, and, and mainly it was money that they were trying to take from you with magic. So that's what about the manifest. Somebody, look, it says balancing the book. Somebody should have been reading a book first. They should have looked in the book to make sure if this was smart. And I felt like no books will say do this or do that. They wanted to do that. For a lot of you guys, this was a karmic lover. And they was in and out of your in and out of your relationship, talking about you with a third party, even their family, mom, sibling. All right, all that backfire. They was talking about you in a bad way, not in a good way, not a way to to work things out and how to make the relationship better. It was just negative talk. It was bad. Like, why would they even want to be with you if they feel this way about you? They want to say, "Oh, you enforced it. You forced it to take their energy." That's you don't need to take their energy. A lot of people did believe you was trying to take this person's energy. Because they, they, this person had people thinking you was only with them for their energy. Or for their love. I said this for the members. So y'all be a member here. I feel like a false queen of pentacles thought she was going to be reigning in success. Alright, her new reign. W-E-I-N-G. Well, no, I. W. Uh, R-E-I-G-N. There we go. That reign will be success. And it's like. She knows she's not getting that. She sees she's not getting that. And this is someone that was projecting that onto you, like you will never be successful with, yeah. Because you know what? She, she, I feel like she made a sacrifice. She made a sacrifice for this success, and that didn't come. She petitioned. She did a lot of magic to have this success, and she's like, I'm going to be so worldly. She went to a priest. Excuse me, I'm here. I'm Baba Loud Priest. She went to a Baba. She may even have her own Baba here. And, you know, I'm, listen, the Baba do have the, the, the gift to, to, to create miracles. I'm getting a miracle with this Ace of Cups. But they did something sneaky to the spirits by doing something to you, and they, they did not tell that to the practitioner with that Seven of Cups. That, that was clouded. That was a clouded judgment from the practitioner. Like, their judgment was clouded. There we go, because they was lied to. Like, I feel like, I feel like, you know, the karmic, they didn't say anything. But they still was in some deceptive energy, in some liar energy, because they know that they did some BS. They know they was not supposed to go to this Bible loud, knowing that they did some karmic shit. All right, I feel like somebody definitely tried to cloud up the truth. All right, they didn't want this practitioner to know that they was already doing dark spells. Why do you think they going to the practitioner? All right, why do you think they going to pay somebody to clear up this energy, to clear up their robes? All right, because they know that they did some bullshit. This is someone that's going to someone in like a cabin in the backwoods somewhere like i'm outskirts i said this one for um my members i'm telling you this queen of pinnacles she's trying to like mask herself she don't want people to see her going to this witch doctor this baba Lau. there's they it's like it's not like in the outskirts like back in the day but that could have been it in the past life all right she could do the same thing in the past life work with the same witch doctor or whoever all right or just have a pattern of going to witch doctors and shit because she'd be panicking going to people for help other magicians it's a pattern. She may not feel like it's a pattern or all that serious, but it, it, all, it clearly is to her. But she keeps doing it. All right? But it's, it's almost like it's not in no seri city area. And if it is in a city area, maybe like a botanical shop or something like that. But 
And, like, they have their little back area. They don't really promote all the, like, the magic that they do. You have to talk to the store owner. But I feel like this is someone, they, they, they don't want someone to know, or other people to know, that they're going to a practitioner somewhere, almost like an outskirts area or out of town, far, about an hour away from them. They don't want people to know that they're going to them to get help, to, to release this negative energy. I don't know why they don't want people to know, but that's really important to them. All right? I feel like this is someone they feel like they just need to move away. This is a feminine. She's going to a practitioner. They they may not live in the same. They may live somewhere in Georgia somewhere, in the Carolinas. All right? They maybe even in Florida somewhere. Okay? Texas, New Orleans. All right? Listen. Or it could even be out of the country like Haiti. They don't want this person to know. Basically, they don't want no one to know, but they're like, I, they, this feminine, this karmic witch, this karmic um, queen of pentacles, she's like, I want to move away from this masculine. I want to move on from him and, and start a new life. And she's paying this practitioner to bless her with a new life. Like I say, that practitioner can can work miracles, but nah, the, how the way this person got this man is how she's going to lose him. All right? And if she got him with magic, she's about to lose him to magic because everything's about to circle back around full circle. I feel like... I ain't gonna lie, I feel like the devil wants this karmic marriage. It wants the energy that the marriage have. I don't feel like the devil wants this the husband or the wife. I feel like it just wants the marriage to crumble and, and to have control of this karmic, full control. The things I've been working towards are accomplished. Yeah, I feel like, listen, listen, this karmic devil, not the devil devil that I was talking about. This karmic devil, this the she devil here, or he devil, this or negative earth sign. They saw you accomplish, and they wanted the devil, devil, to take you down. And the devil's like, no. If I could only explain to y'all what I'm seeing. If only I can explain to y'all, all right? But they stressed out. Somebody that's full of anxiety wants to know, like, I'm hearing, it's, it's like somebody full of anxiety, like, their mind is closed because of this. They want to know, like, everything that they need to know about spirituality and, like, crazy stuff. Stuff that makes scare them, put them in fear. Not that spirituality will put a person in fear, but sometimes when you hear the devil or the reaper, it will scare a person. Like, they want to know about all these things, but they won't get balanced. They want to research all these things, but look, they're catching a the whole blow. All right, they're catching a whole blow, y'all. Listen, hold up. I have little um reactions here. they catching a whole blow. I don't know which one I can use. Well, let's just use the rain, okay? A whole blow right now. <laughs> let's do that again. This is literally their crown. A rain cloud. A storm cloud. Again. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm seeing a snowstorm too. All right, it's because of what, whatever they was practicing. All right, whatever witchcraft or spells, there was a novice in this. All right, listen, strong indicator. This person, they could be a, e a Leo, very egotistical. They are strongly much in their ego. They got a strong ego. All right, like you can't knock them down or or tell them anything. But it's crazy because they're easily triggered. They can add, they are actually easily knocked down. The thing is, they just won't give up. This is someone they love control. All right, they love control, and I feel like this could have been like a karmic couple. They both, this is a strong indicator, a karmic couple, or or maybe a couple of people, a couple of people is two or more. All right, a group, but some of you guys strongly a couple. That king and queen of wands was trying to keep a sacred high priestess, divine feminine, entrapped. And they were both using like, this could be a, a, a succubus and an incubus. Lost souls trying to have a come up by feeding off of you. A lot of them want to say that I'm not lost. If I'm a lost, if, if I know, they, one of these karmas was saying, if I'm a lost soul, how I know I'm a succubus? You lost in that, like you drowning in that. Somebody may feel like, you know, succubuses are okay because, you know, they, they, they sucking off of energy. Like, that's how they live. Like, that's how they are programmed to be. Like, that's just how they are. Like, that's their nature. I don't know. I don't know the backstory, the history of the first damn succubus. All right, some would say, like, that would be Lilith. I don't know. All right, but it's, it's all about balance and, and knowing how to use your dark energies well. And they're not doing that. 
They always felt like they felt like it was okay to be karmic. As long as you have a little balance, you know, you do a little good and it's okay. They didn't understand karmic energy. Or Lilith. Some of these karmas could have been trying to communicate with Lilith or use Lilith with their magic. A karma that 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 didn't even know about her, that don't know about her. Trying to end you with Lilith's energy, and Lilith rejected that request because that had nothing to do with Lilith. These are people that's thinking that these spirits are down for destroying the world. They're down for destroying people. That's what they was thinking, and they was thinking small. All right, then I say a snowstorm too. Look, left out in the cold. Somebody was thinking like like um scarcity, scarcity mindset. This is what I'm getting. Scarcity mindset with these two cards. Scarcity mindset. Okay? That is a big, fat thumbs down. You see it's coming from the card? No, that's not good energy. Okay? That's not good energy, Karmic. Not good. Yeah, but when I do, like, when those thumbs up, when I do, like, the thumbs up, I'm not doing it, like, how the way I'm doing it now, controlling it. That just naturally come. So I feel like that was just confirmations from the spirits, Okay? Somebody may feel like your confirmations are not from the spirits. That's weird. All right. Somebody was definitely trying to predict your future, and they thought it was jail time. Like, they're like, you're going to go to jail. You're go Like, this This could have been a B-I-T-C-H dude trying to put a female in jail. Like, and listen, this person, I see their future is jail. All right. I see, like, this person, they're trapped. Like I said, the eight of swords is feeling trapped. They can't move forward. They can't. It's like, I feel like something from the past, look like orange jumpsuit, something from the past is going to lead this person into jail time. And this is what they were trying to manifest or predict on you. Like your past is going to catch up. You did some type of crime and they were even trying to wish this on you guys. Manifest some shit and that shit is, everything is crumbling and unfolding for them. Somebody, like somebody household is falling apart. A priest could have did this. A priest that's like in the church. Or a part of maybe like a Santeria church or something. He made sure, and listen, this, listen, this could be like your family. I don't know, your soul family. He made sure this karmic ex foundation fell apart. Because the foundation they were standing on, all right, was keeping up their BS, basically. Everyone that was involved is going to fall apart. Take it out, resonate, because that's not for everyone. I never paid anybody. Anybody going to fucking lie on me. But for some of you guys, you need a protection from this karmic emotionally unstable king of cups and and yo baba your spiritual father he did his he did his thing your spiritual elder he did what he had to do and he told you don't go back because you're going to get your aunt the answer is going to tie your hands too because it's not uh it's anyone that gets involved he, the, no some people may think well it's me the spirits would know it's me but why would you want to go back to that now you're a part of that because you know better you, you know, listen, you're a part of it because you know better and you still went and did do bullshit. Back then, you didn't know. Now you know. Why go back? That means you're a part of that bullshit. You want to be a part of ABS. All right, he, listen. This is someone, they was already a lost soul when you met them. They may feel like they already done lost a lot. They already have a lot, a lot to lose, enough, like nothing to lose. What else? It's like, this is someone that feel like they already have nothing to lose. But what else, you know, can they lose? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> if they feel like they have nothing to lose then what more can they lose All right, I feel like God's judgment is like they thought it was bigger than God's judgment I feel like the most high was not fighting against this karmic energy like they thought All right, I feel like the, the most high gave it you know it's like <sighs> God gave it to divine frequencies within the universe alright basically what you put out the, up there what you put out there is what you get back all right, the most I already knew this person was going to get karma how the way the, the, the universe is orchestrated. All right, sometimes we don't have to do anything because of karma. People don't don't be wanting to wait. It's not about waiting. It's just about moving on. Okay? You don't have to wait for karma. You can just move on. All right? That's one of the best ways that y'all can move forward. Don't wait. Just move on. Voila. Then you get to celebrate. <laughs> Call in celebration for you guys. This is someone that's trying to block you from calling in judgment. Calling in what's due to you. Claiming what's yours. They trying to, they want you to claim your traumas and your pain. They want you to be drowning in pain. That's their judgment for you. And this is someone like, they was working with like a group of people. Ooh. 
or they was working with someone like we said that karmic couple or whatever like that like this is someone that was working with like curses and hexes all right they was working with something in particular that's just that's dark but like we you know we we exposed but you know some of it but it's just something like they was working with something damn demonic man something that they was not supposed to touch it keeps coming out and they family could even warn them their spiritual family like people in like you know they soul tribe i should say told them like move on from that move on from you but they was like no i gotta see you knock down first before i fully walk away I think it's um Mike. Let's see. What does it say? Fireworks. Oh, it's my, okay. Never mind. I thought like if I say fireworks, it will <laughs> it will say fireworks because sometimes with the thumbs up, it will just pop up. So I'm like maybe if I say it, y'all. Anyway, celebrate. This person be trying to block your mind, man. I feel it. So you won't know how to celebrate. You won't know what you're celebrating for. You won't see that vision of celebration. All right? Like, man, y'all could have celebrated during the holidays, had a good Christmas, a Merry Christmas. All right, I don't know. It's like y'all going to be celebrating like a holiday. I don't know. Not like a major holiday. Maybe just like vacation or you enjoying something nice. This somebody's definitely even lying your cards. I just felt it because they exposing the truth. This is a pure hater. When when you got somebody even lying like your cards or whatever it is that you guys enjoy, your your car, your house, your shoes. You know they got a fucking problem. You know you dealing with somebody with some envious issues. You need to get away from that. Somebody may be marrying someone for money or only wants to marry for money. All right, a karmic female. I feel like she could have been fighting against you. And this ex, because she wanted him for his money. And I feel like she's fed up. She's tired of dealing with him. Okay. Ignoring. Wow. I feel like this man could be, she could be feeling ignored. She may feel like he's going to give her money or her energy to somebody else. That's a damn shame. I feel like a female could have caught like an STD here. She's mad because you don't got no STDs, but she got one. Like your womb is clean. Maybe you once, you know, had got something from this ex, but that's cleaned up. All right, I ain't trying to expose too much, but I'm just being honest. All right, and she's mad that, you know, you ain't, you still clean. And, and she got one. She's getting one from him, and she's mad that you're not going through that, that she's with. You're not going through that with him. All right, like, whatever. Doesn't make any sense. She, she needs to leave him alone. But this this is someone, they're going crazy. They, I feel like somebody definitely got a demon on them. You can see the demon in their eyes. And they were trying to blame you for it. For some of you guys, I'm getting everyone was trying to, and they was all confused. Every time they try to go down that route of blaming you, they'll end up nowhere and having to start all over again. Because if, if it was you, they won't be going through all this. Like, somebody could be traveling and get lost. Somebody may be lost. Like, yeah, I'm getting, like, somebody could have gotten lost doing, like, an astral travel, an astral trip. Somebody could have lost their mind doing some type of trip, you know what I mean? And somebody could also, like, went, like, did, like, some, like, is lost within like they went like they like listen somebody man somebody was on a journey within themselves like on a journey of finding themselves by doing all this dark work they thought this was a way to find themselves and they got lost during the journey they got lost finding themselves and this is someone they're running they're running to get out of this 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 obstacle this maze this bad karma striking their butt literally they not say the ancestors on their ass Delivering that karma is on this and this is someone they may look you up every day just to see what you're going through Because you going through something makes them feel better, but you're not all right They thought their scarcity tactics was going to work and it led them to being in the heads and their heads being in the clouds They thought your heads was going to be in the clouds about them and you was going to be confused about karma Not know anything about karma. This is someone they're stupid They thought they can block your mind from knowing about karma and then and, and block everyone else from knowing about it. Only they would know. Look, their ego would just hurt. They look like someone that's hurt. Look at you. They got this big ass ego and they and they hurt. Their butt hurt. You hurt their ego. That's why they started talking shit, giving offerings to the spirits unalive, y'all, pretty much. 
in offering to Santa Murtha, abusing divination. Hmm? Girl, ain't no more bagels. He ate the last one. Yeah, they wasted their time. And then, and once this person realized that they waste their time, hold on, Mino. That's when they want you back. They they are definitely a player, but they ain't playing right. They ain't playing the game right. So it's like they all over the place. It's someone that's trying to be someone who they're not. All right, and you guys could be a boss, and they trying to like copy that, mimic that. <coughs> Anything else, spirit? Wow. Somebody's projecting you ain't feeding your kids. Uh, they don't. They don't even. They don't even know that. All right, they just talking shit. Somebody could have been trying to call child services and say you're not feeding your kids. They're going to hell for that, <laughs> and they're going to have a, a a hell on earth. All right, because that demon going to be chasing them all the time. They was tripping on you. This could have been an ex lover tripping, saying that you was neglecting your kids and you was even trying to like harm your kids, threatening your kids. This was this was like a false report. They can go to jail for that, and I feel like they didn't know that. I feel like a police or an authority figure. Could have definitely told them. Now I'm getting like an attorney. Some type of an attorney could have told them, like you're like, you know, if this turned out to be false, and I'm wasting my time, it's a false investigation. Uh, you can be charged. They can come for you. And nothing was done. Like this is someone that was thinking they can take you down with using your kids. They didn't think that there was any laws to protect you. All right, and they was even looking up. I'm hearing defects, man. They was looking up the number and everything. This could have been someone from Georgia trying to call on you or right, against you, and, and maybe you live in Georgia, or you live in a whole other state. This is just sad. All right, I'm just this person was trying to warn you with that, with that call, and they thought they can like control you, threaten you, blackmail you, like oh, you're not going to do anything anymore because I called defects or I called DCF or I called child services. This is someone that's trying to say like, well, how you know it's that? That means you're doing something because you know this. Like, you're not a psychic intuitive. These people are regular degglers. They are no one special to be thinking this fucking way. They are just like the rest of the bots out here walking around ignorant. And they may feel ignorant and stupid, and they seeing things clear. They have this dumb look on their face. They look stupid. Somebody's going to have to pay to get their money from the repo. Man, I guess they, they late on their damn payment. Car about to get repoed. They're going to get back, but it's after it's already been repoed. Somebody may have to get their car from the, um, the, you know, when you get arrested and, and they tow your car. Yeah, they're going to have to get their car back from the tow, to, from the lot. Someone's also going to have to unexpectedly move. They didn't want to move. They didn't expect to, but they, they, they're going to have to. And they're going to be thinking in the back of their mind, like, you didn't have to move. You dodged that bullet. I'm telling you, a karmic in the back of their mind thinking of when they slept with this karmic ex and caught an STD and how you ain't dealing with it. All right, it's like, you know... His peewee could be too big for her herself, you know? She just take it's painful for her, but she deals with it because he comes with money. All right? But it's like he, he ain't giving her that much money. She fake flexing with him because he ain't giving her anything. Really, he's not giving her any money. Uh, that's what Spirit is telling me. He may have gave her like 20 to $50 top. All right? He may have spent, might have spent up to $100 in total throughout, you know, their little relationship. All right? Like, yeah. He ain't really giving much. He could be like a drug dealer or something like that. All right, this is someone, like, they're thinking that they're winning with this man. But now they're mad. All right, and this man is, is calling her a liar. Like, you lying on me. You you accusing me of cheating. He, I feel like he is cheating. Screenshots to prove it. But he could be de deleting the messages. But she may have a feeling because his energy. All right? And, she, you know, she may feel intuitive. Because she could feel like when something is off, but she can't see what you can see. She can just, like, what she feels is just to warn her. And for her, and that's a warning and a signal for her to try to, like, empower herself more with her intuition. She's not doing it in the work. She's thinking, well, I don't have to do the work because I automatically got the power. Like, these are people that's trying to avoid, they're, they're stupid. They're dumb. They're, like, avoiding the work. Some of these people are like jailbirds. All right, somebody could be making love with a jailbird. And this couple, they may end up in jail together. Some of may end up in jail for, like, scamming. This is why y'all moved in silence away from this person, man. All right, listen, I feel like y'all had a spiritual hater following y'all, even though you moving in silence. That's that's bad. That's wrong. That's wrong and bad for her to do that. All right, if I, I wish they put a lightning strike in here, I would have strike that damn card. Okay? But I can laser beam her ass. Okay? Get out of here. <laughs> let me stop. Okay, let me stop. Some of my hater gonna project that's lame. It ain't lame, but 
it's funny. This this spiritual hater, she ain't had no facts. And she thought she knew what she was doing with the spirits. And you don't know what you're doing. This, this is someone that see you in a, in a nice big house. They keep seeing you in this nice big house. Maybe this is you guys in another reality, experiencing a whole nother life in a big house. And, you know, it's like, or maybe she once was seeing that, but not anymore. Her crown is blocked from tapping in. I feel like she was tapping into, like, other realities. It's like your future. All right? Yeah, and she saw, she could have saw you making love with your counterpart. Then I say somebody did a reading on you and your divine masculine popped up. Sh listen, she feel wrong for doing this because she was not supposed to do that. Why are you doing that? Why? They can't even explain why. All right, listen, I told you. This is someone that did a reading on you. This, like this, for some of you guys, this could be a reader. And for some of you guys, this karmic is going to a reader. And the reader did pick up your sex life and everything. To let this person know to leave you the fuck alone. And to warn this reader that you, you, if, if you focusing on building your future, there's no way you're doing all this dark shit to them and your future this damn bright. There's no way. You will, they, they will pick up karma or lessons or whatever. A little liar karmic. But like I said, they, 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 they got a reading done or they did a reading and they saw... Your future was bliss. Your, your, your business is going to be successful. Your future business and you guys are in love. They saw your career in love. I feel like this is someone that did a, a love and career reading on you guys. Literally, yes. And they saw y'all hitting fucking jackpot. And both love and career. And one of those people could have been a, an, a, an obsessive lover. Karmic. Getting readings done on you or doing their own readings. And they got so much karma just for doing these readings, invading your energy, and they're trying to cop block you with spells and, and doing all these sex magics and have you fantasizing over them. This is someone that they ain't shit, man. They little chicken spell and, and, and they little chicken sacrifice was rejected. This is this may be someone that feel like the spirits will always accept the sacrifice. No, they won't, because not every chicken carry good energy. All right, that's that's like rotten chicken, giving them like rotten blood. That's how they that's listen, this karmic energy taint the damn sacrifice. It turned the blood sacrifice. All right, well, the, the blood from the chicken, it turned it sour. It turned it bad. Like the feathers from the whole shit turned, um, like poisonous. Like if, if the spirits was to touch that, touch that energy that came from the sacrifice, the spirits will have to be fighting some shit off. Um, this is real shit. People want to think, oh, the spirits, they're this, they're that, that. They never deal with things. They fight for us. You don't think they deal with shit? They just don't come and show y'all that karmics because they don't want you dealing with them. And they're not about to tell you their secrets. But they deal with shit too. I'm hearing dirty little secret. Somebody was trying to deal with a dirty offer and they were trying to keep it a dirty little secret. And that offer was to pay someone with, to use your picture to take you down. I'm seeing like the pictures in the frame. Like somebody may even frame the pictures. They have a specific frame. That they use for all their client photos. Like, I, sis, or bro, I would switch that frame up. Every client should have their own personalized frame. All right, if you don't have the money to be buying picture frames, you don't need to be mixing. You don't need to be doing it. You're mixing all these people's energy up. All right, I don't care if you think you cleansed it and stuff like that. You probably did. But I just, I energy could come back even after you cleanse it. Just to let you know that. All right, because it, it, it's, it's something that's deeper. All right, you may just need to get a whole new frame. This is, I, I feel like this practitioner is just a bit messy. Don't feel, you know, triggered if you know you use certain things the same. That's different from what I'm talking about. Like, you doing work, you know, real work. Buy, they, buy people their own frame. And then it's like their magic turn people into stalkers. Like, it's just because the love spell, the, the, this, cause this, this could have been a love spell as well. That's just what I'm getting with this. All right, a love spell or some type of spell to get you to fall in love with them and have sex with them. All right, basically, same thing as a love spell. I feel like they could have did something specific where you only want to sex them. And it just turned them into a fucking stalker. This could have been a friend that they paying or they're doing their own work. I feel like it's all the above. They tried it all. This is someone that would definitely try it themselves if, if them paying other people don't do it. They won't take heed to the warning. It is being cop blocked for a reason. They're being caught blocked out of the damn stars, the cosmos. Somebody cannot channel or download anymore. That false queen of pinnacles. That was holding a grudge against you saying, oh, you, you getting clout off my name. What clout, bitch? You don't got shit. She know that. And her little bad habit ass. All right, she need, she need to get her shit together. All right? And move on from you and stop trying to bother you all the damn time. All these people be trying to bother you with spell work. Going crazy. Oh, is it me? Is it me? 
Why? Because you know you did some fuck shit, bitch. With your nasty, narcissistic ass. With your confused, ditzy, dingy ass. Head hurting. I'm telling you, your karmic head is banging. And they feel hot. <clears throat> they may even feel feverish. They feel bad and they could be trying to like, I don't feel sick. It's not sick. Maybe it's just like, you know, the energy's changing. Ascension symptoms. Not this karmic. Even if they know about ascension symptoms, not for this karmic. Nah, because that shit is... Ascension symptoms not supposed to last no more than a day or two. Maybe three, but it's off and on. It's in and out. It's not sticking. They asses is sick. S strong indicator that they're sick. Okay? They feel empty inside because of their damn spell. They should feel sick. Let me get a Divine Master's. Kwan Yen is showing up. Listen, she's always going to send y'all love. Okay? Always. And I feel like y'all going through a spiritual awakening with love. Like y'all spiritually awakening to love here. God's love. Because I feel like, you know, look, let God's love hold you in strength. And we saw the strength card. God's love is keeping you strong. You are this devoted warrior. All right, divine mission. Yes. I feel like, listen, you guys are fighting. Like, like not fighting like that, but you guys are in the warfare because you're on a divine mission. And a part of, like, your warfare is you protecting that divine mission. You're fighting to keep it protected. All right, and... You're, I'm getting, like, you're fighting to break free light. I'm seeing, like, um, a few archangels. Archangel Michael is one of them. They're all fighting to, like, set free light onto this planet. And you're one of those light workers that's here to help set free light. Even if that light is truth, which it will be, more, always going to be the truth and love as well. Okay, Horus, blue beings. Horus is a Syrian. Not everyone is tapped into the spirit's bloodline. They're, they're a kasha. All right, these karmics, they're fools. All right, holy union here. I feel like, man, y'all have a strong connection with your divine mission. So don't worry about them cutting you or disconnecting you from it. But I feel like y'all going to unexpectedly either find love or unexpected, like love is going to unexpectedly appear in your reality, like your, your lover. Even if y'all already talking to somebody, but y'all at a distance, Y'all ain't really planning nothing. Like, it's like life is just going to change where y'all going to be able to, like, plan, you know, your first date or actually, like, plan love coming in your life. Like, I I don't know. I'm just getting that. Like, love is just unexpectedly coming in your life. You remember I did say that you guys are waking up to love, okay? And I was getting, like, you know, divine love, the, the frequency love. But now I'm also getting, like, your twin flame. Y'all could have woke up to your twin flame. To a deep twin flame soulmate connection. A romantic opportunity is on the way. Alright, I feel like you, your divine mission is connected with this romantic soulmate. People are going to call him karmic. People are going to say he ain't your, he's your twin flame soulmate. I'm sorry. People are going to say he's just a soulmate. He's not your twin. Alright, make sure you know you make this choice from the heart. You choosing to be with whoever your twin is. Don't allow other people to choose who your twin is. You make that choice. All right, because you would know your twin before a reader would or whoever else. You would know your twin. You have to trust in yourself, though. If you don't trust yourself, you're going to attract the karmic. Because yourself is not, gonna, is, is not going to attract a twin in that state of fear, that state of shock, which is fear. All right, you got to have hope that, you know, you're going to meet your divine counterpart one day, which is your twin, which is ultimately, ultimately your twin. Someone could be trying to use your divine mission as a distraction from your counterpart. Like somebody trying to say, you can't have love and be a light worker. Yeah, well, you, you're about to show everybody. A lot of people, is not they not even expecting love for you. Yup, I feel like love, <clears throat> not like, first of all, the love frequency <clears throat> and your lover is going to shift your paradigm. It's going to cause a paradigm shift in your reality. For some of you guys, this could this could already happen. I'm hearing the spirit say it already did. But it's happening in increments. Like, it's slowly, I'm seeing the wheel slowly turning in your favor. And it's not, like, slow on purpose. 
It's because y'all, you and your person is like going through a process. It's not meant for everything to come all at once. Slow and steady wins the race. Appreciate that. We all going through a shift right now. So we all ain't going to be able to bask in it and embody everything right away. Because we all shifting and shedding and upgrading at the same time. Just take take it for what it is and enjoy it and accept it. Because I do pick up on a lot of light. But if you expecting or want this right now specifically, you're not ready for it right now. Okay, even if you just master, a part of you is just not ready for the energy because you're focusing on mastering something else. And once you master that, master that, that's going to master, that's going to help you master what you're trying to master now, if that makes sense. Even if it's love. Ma like, you know, some people, they be trying to call in their twin, but they haven't even be became a twin flame for themselves, to themselves. You know, depend on yourself for a change before you try to put all that on to somebody else. All right, but I feel like your lover is going to shift your world. Like, your life is going to change when you meet this person. I feel like a part of you just know that. Part of you, and if somebody's trying to make it seem like that's bad, like this person, they're going to, like, hurt you. On the line, like, people could be projecting the worst on your person because of what you could have went through in the past. Other people, be careful because for some of you guys, I don't know, be careful what readers you go to or whoever you going to for advice and they're reading too deep in your energy because they're projecting, like, the past is going to come into your future or the past is in your present is going to affect your future or something like that. Like in the sense of your past mistakes or what you was meant to go through with this karmic ex is going to happen again. Well, meant to like, not, well, let me fix up my words, but what you went through with this karmic ex is going to happen again with this new person. Somebody is also basically pretty much trying to say like your ex was trying to unalive you, right? Like a reader, this ex is trying to unalive you. And this new person going to do the same thing. Like, there's a devil working against you through masculines. And pretty much, like, you can't trust no masculine. And they're going to say you need to wait a while before you find your counterpart, clear energy, and clear away these masculines. For some of you guys, you you may be aware of these masculines, but you like, I'm, I'm, they're not, their energy not affecting me. Like, I might just clear of and, and rid of them. All right? That's why they fucking with me because I got away from them. Just be careful with reader because this reader, they may not be able to read Twin Flames. Or maybe they don't want to see you in a twin flame union. So they're just going to project. They don't want to see you in that. All right? Because they, they may know that your person is going to create this paradigm shift. And your person is going to help transmute a lot of negative energy. And they're going to support you along your journey. All right? Even if they don't like certain things. like and it's not like they don't like your journey or what you do. Maybe they don't like how certain things is 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 coming up in your life because of... You being a light worker, like the karmics, okay, or negative energy. But they're not telling you don't do it. They're just telling you, like, we need to do things a little better. More protection, you know, more prayer, all right? Because it's like, clearly you're doing something good and you're being targeted. Like, they don't like that you're being targeted because of your divine mission. But that doesn't mean they're not going to support your divine mission. That's basically it. But, yeah, I'm going to go now, all right? Yes, and I feel like Hamuna, wait, Hanuman is fighting for you. Love you. Love you guys. See y'all some, some hearts. Love y'all. Bye.